Welcome back. Well, IGL reported what was a good set of Q1 numbers coming in above street estimates and a margin surprise as well to discuss uh, the company's Q1 performance. Our colleague Sonal Bhutra did catch up with Kamal Kishore Chatwal, uh, who's the MD, and began by asking about the margin expansion and the company's sourcing mix. Listen in. Actually, the margin improvement has been due to two reasons. One is the lower gas cost and the second is the improvement in operational efficiency. So as far as the gas cost is concerned, uh, we were able to contract some volumes when the spot prices, a marginal window was there where, you know, the gas spot prices have come down to eight to nine dollars per MMBTU. So we were able to utilize that opportunity to contract some volumes. So that has been the reason. In addition to that, the Henry Hub linked contracts have been more favorable as compared to the crude link contracts. So, uh, and we have around 50 to 60% linked to Henry Hub. So that has been the reason. And the operational efficiency part uh, is a permanent uh, improvement. So that we expect it to continue to the other quarters also, as well. Okay. So give us a sense of your outlook. Now that you're saying 50 to 60% volumes are contracted by Henry Hub, what is the current gas pricing for you when you are using that as an input? How much from, say, uh, domestic gas allocation, how much is imported? And what is the outlook going forward? Your EBITDA per SCM has improved uh, in this quarter versus the last and the one before that as well. What is the target for FY25? You see, the, our guidance has always been that 7 to 8 uh, EBITDA uh, per SCM of 7 to 8 rupees. So we were able to maintain that. Uh, last quarter, we were at 6.58. And despite the uh, price cut of 2.5 uh, rupees per kg, we were able to maintain around 7.6. So that is uh, one thing that uh, we will be able to maintain because in the last end of the quarter, uh, in June last week, we were we increased the prices uh, again by one rupee, just due to the cut in APM allocation. So APM currently is at 62 percent, 38 percent is RLNG, and we expect APM to remain in this range only 60 to 62 percent. Maybe if one or two plants shut down, then uh, we see slight increase and then again come back to these levels. So 60 to 62 percent uh, would be the range that we expect for the entire year. And uh, 38 to 40 percent would be uh, uh, contracted. And since our volume are significant, I mean the RLNG volumes is significant now. So we have some flexibility that we can, uh, rather than depending on some uh, big players, so we can also contract some volumes. Okay, that is so good we to are know. Working towards that. Okay, so let's talk about volumes. Take it forward. 8.564 uh, MMSCMD in this quarter. You had earlier indicated that FY25 exit run rate could be nine and a half. Is that something that you'll be able to achieve? There have been a lot of new avenues, right? Bajaj Auto launching that new CNG bike. I know largely it's in Maharashtra right now. But do you think there are segments where you can see growth opportunities and reach your uh, targeted mark? Yes, that is one very significant positive for us that the, uh, the two-wheeler, that was one segment where CNG vehicles were not there. And CNG market is, uh, I mean, if you look at the big players, it is around 25 to 30 years old. And two-wheeler was still uh, something that was uh, not there. Uh, CNG vehicles were not there. Now with the launch of Bajaj and uh, we see the numbers that it's around 30,000 in, say, 20, 25 days. And uh, it is being launched in Delhi market in end of July. And maybe the deliveries in uh, another two weeks. So in the second quarter, we see significant volumes of two-wheelers uh, entering the uh, NCR and Delhi market. And since this is the biggest market for two-wheelers, so we expect around 30%, uh, 25 to 30% uh, sales volume to come from here. And if we look at the target of uh, Bajaj and the other two wheelers, I think TVS has also announced that they are bringing out a CNG variant. And uh, so we expect significant volumes going forward to come from two wheeler segment. Mm. Given the fact that uh, in NCR there is a lot of commute and people say, for example, Greater Noida to Delhi, and everyday commute is more, and uh, the price uh, that uh, advantage that it gives, the economic advantage. Of one rupee per kilometer as compared to two two and a mm. half rupees uh, petrol. That's a significant for uh, you know middle class, lower middle class, or the two wheeler segment. So that we expect that it will be able to compete even with electric. So nine and a half MMSCMD is that the target that remains for volumes in FY twenty five? 
Yes, that remains. And uh, because uh, the industrial and commercial segment, we are in discussion with a few players and uh, because they are big volumes and uh, we expect them to conclude in the second quarter and we are doing some uh, price tweaking also to make it competitive. So those volumes will come up. In addition to that, one more fact I want to share is that uh, outside Delhi, you know, Delhi there is a pressure of DTC bulk volumes going off roads and we are still absorbing that impact. So whatever increase is there in the passenger vehicle segment, so that is absorbing the loss of DTC. But outside of Delhi, we look at the GS, the CNG market is growing at around 22%. And overall, CNG, PNG market is growing at around 16%. So that is the growth in outside Delhi market, including uh, Noida, Greater Noida, Ghaziabad, uh, Gurugaon. Okay. So okay. That, uh, we expect it to continue. Last question before I let you go. You spoke about uh, geographies outside Delhi and they are doing really well. Uh, what kind of expansion plans do you have in FY25 and FY26? How many CNG stations will you be adding? And in terms of industrial volumes, what kind of growth are you expecting there going forward? You see, current, uh, we, our target is uh, CNG station. If you see, we, we expect to continue the same numbers, 80 to 90 we did last year. So the same is the target for this year. We will be setting up 90 CNG stations uh, and uh, 3,27,000 uh, domestic connections and 2,000 uh, industrial and commercial connections. So that is our target. Similar to last uh, the, uh, uh, the year gone by, so the targets are similar. And uh, it will be the same uh, numbers going forward. And industrial volumes, you know, we are currently at around 0.8 million. Hmm. And uh, we expect that uh, 30 to 40% growth this year in that segment. All right, that is about IGL, uh, the stock lower, but that was management commentary. As we slip into a short break, just keep an eye out on the markets. There has been a formidable recovery, and as we pointed out, it's led by the IT index. So the Nifty IT index, which was showing a bit of a recovery, uh, you know, just as we started the show, has now moved into the green, just about moved into the green. So the IT index comes up for you on the screen, and that's led, of course, by all the IT heavyweights. So you have TCS, which has moved higher. Infosys, my, uh, still in the red, has recovered about a percent from the lows. We've seen a big, bigger move on Vipro and Tech Mahindra, both of them, uh, you know, well in the green currently and keeping the Nifty's losses just at around 40 points, taking it higher from the lows by about 240 odd points. So we'll keep an eye on the markets as we move along. Take a short break, come back, tell you a lot more about stock-specific action on the other side. Stay with us.